Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Aquatics. Now, if you're new to this channel, we bring you new videos every Monday of uh, reptile care, fish care, fish maintenance, uh, saltwater life, uh, aquascaping, and so much more. So if that's something that might interest you, please consider subscribing and leave us a comment down below saying, hey, I just subscribed so that we can give you a shout out um what we're doing today so if you've seen some of our previous videos uh, we actually have this big polydarium that was brought to us by uh, custom aquariums and custom cages uh, this tank was custom built for what we need but uh, we want to change it up so what we're doing as you can see you know we pulled out all the rock all the scape all the driftwood all the the plants um, we salvaged what we could but uh, this tank just, it was supposed to be set up differently and it wasn't. Um, we were in such a time crunch to put it together before the store opened that it really didn't have what I wanted it to have. So now that we've been open for almost a year, um, we're going to do it properly. And on a positive note, we finally hit a hundred videos so that's super exciting that we've brought you guys so much um so many different videos and i hope you guys stick with us for many years to come a little bit about this tank um, this actually has a seamless sump underneath that goes all the way across it actually has double pumps down there but that's going to be converted so the idea behind it and stick around for more videos because we will actually have uh, videos of the new build and what this is going to turn into but a little sneak preview so these right here are the returns and these returns are actually going to be redirected up into the corner and up higher uh, to create waterfalls and then these are the intakes which send the water down to the sump and we are going to uh, hide those in the new scape so that because I haven't decided if we're going to put the mangrove monitor back in here and don't worry guys yes she's still around uh if you guys have seen other videos um we had seen a lot of comments saying that you know we needed to add more land mass and all that so guess what that's what we are doing um and that's all thanks to you guys but we also thought about putting the green tree monitor in here but first and foremost we got to get this tank drained and get it cleaned up and that way we can start on the new build we still do have a lot of Daniels in here and uh, some baby, baby, baby uh, peacock cichlids. You can see them swimming around. But that's not what this video is about today. What this video is about is I want to show you guys an easy method of how to drain your tanks. So you can see we have this cord and what it is, is this. This is a python hose. Um, it comes with adapters and uh, the nozzle that you've seen there. They come in different sizes, 25 foot, 50 foot. But people always are hesitant about buying these because they're like, well, they're kind of pricey. And they are. Don't get me wrong. They are kind of pricey. However, they are worth the money when you see how easy they are to use. So with that being said, I will actually explain in detail how these work. As we go in the bathroom, shut that off so you guys can actually hear me. So you can see we have the connection from the tube coming up to this T. Now this T comes with um, the Python kits and what it does is it screws directly onto your water faucet. If you have a screen on there, you can see the screen right there. We actually just removed the screen so that we can thread this straight on. And then you can see water dripping out on the bottom there. And what happens is when I turn on the water faucet, it pushes water through this. But not only that, what it's doing is it's actually creating a back siphon. So everything that comes through this hose is now being pulled and pushed through there. So we're going to turn that on a little bit higher. And we're going to walk over and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, this, I'm sure you guys have seen the siphon, but I want you to hear what's going on here. It may take a second because it's still full, but essentially what's going on here 
And now it's gonna be weird for me. I must have pinched the line. Oh, I think I did when I closed the door. Whoops. Yeah, you don't wanna pinch the line. Cause that'll cause issues. But you can see we have an extension here because it's just not long enough um, to reach up toward the front. But, so as you guys can see, it's, you can hear, if you guys can hear that, it's actually sucking. And so what we're gonna do, and I'll show you here, is all you have to do, you don't have to put your mouth on it or anything like that. Put the end in and you can see that it's starting to suck water. Now, I don't know if you saw that, so I'll show you again. But you just put the end in and look, it's already pumping water from the back pressure. And then it sends that water to the sink no more putting your mouth on it or using the hand pump to get it siphoned. And the cool thing is, is you can just go through and start your tank maintenance where you're just cleaning your gravel. And you can see all the debris from this tank. As I push into the gravel, it's coming up the tube and it's going down the hose and out over the sink. So very, very easy to use. I really like this. And you may ask, well, why are you cleaning the gravel if you're just gonna strip down this tank? Well, this tank got a little rough and th this is for contaminants from the driftwood that was in here. So we wanna clean up the rock just so when we store the rock, it's nice and clean. And even though if you store this rock dry, uh, cause right now it has bacteria on it. If you store it dry, the algae and all the bacteria is gonna die, but then you still have dirty rock. So I like to put rock away nice and clean yeah. and uh, that way it's good to go for when I need it again. So yeah. So if you're ever wondering, hmm, should I buy a Python? Is it worth the money? Yes, 100%. It is definitely worth the money. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I wanted to show you how we do this at the store. You can see, I mean, just that line's just black from just the crud that's on the bottom of it. But I hope you enjoy this. And like I said, I wanted to share an easy trick to make your life easier, especially when you have a lot of tanks. It takes up time, it takes up resources. And so we wanna make this help you guys have a less stressful time when it comes to water changes. Cause I don't know about you, but I hate doing water changes because it is so time consuming, especially when you have so many different tanks. So stay tuned for the up and coming build of this. We're going to post it um, on our channel here. If you haven't had a chance to check out our podcast, do that on Spotify, Blue Dog Aquatics and Reptiles. Also our other channel, Blue Dog uh, Reptiles. And we also have a new Patreon page. Uh, if you'd like to help support us uh, in all of our exciting builds. And uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you thought of the video. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And we will see you guys next Monday. Bye-bye.